that's what's on your mind. To think that I once looked up to these two as the best that humanity had to offer. Oh, I'd like nothing more than to put a blaster to both their heads. Although I suppose that only Malik is left, isn't he? Turned on his own master. Not, not that Revan didn't have it coming. <laughs> Typical for their kind, I guess. No, not personally. They aided the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. They were heroes. Without them, the Mandalorians would have finished us for certain. In the fleet, we didn't see much of the Jedi. I only met Malak once, but I was impressed by him. I guess that just shows how much the dark side can change someone. Nobody does. When they left, after the Mandalorian Wars ended, they were Jedi. When they returned, they were something else. Well, when they returned from wherever they went, they, they had an entire fleet with them. Nobody knows where they got the ships. They had a lot of them. And as the years have passed, there always seems to be more and more, while our forces dwindle. Did they really get away with it, though? Revan was betrayed by Malak, and Malak hasn't won. In the end, the dark side won't help him. I, uh... I used to think that it was a fancy name for something that I see every day. Corruption is everywhere. People are greedy and stupid and do horrible things. I'm starting to think it's different for the Jedi, however. That there's this evil watching them, waiting for its chance. You have so much courage and strength in you, yet somehow I have no trouble imagining it differently. Like the flip side of a coin. It's not just you. It's Bastila as well. She's so intense. And I don't pretend to know much about the Force, but... I know evil. No? I know how people change. I remember how Malik looked and acted before his return. And I bet the old Malik discounted the possibility that he would ever fall as well. Well, not that you and her Bastila are fully trained on how to handle your power. I'm just concerned at what might come. Oh, and that's not what I... I mean, I, I wouldn't want to see you hurt, either of you. I suppose finding the star maps is more important than your training and your safety. I, I just hope there isn't a price for you to pay. Okay, well, the only place I've got left to go is... What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. My own mentor. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, Nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any problem involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we'd better do it quick. 
In another minute, we're going to have SIP troops marching up our loading ramp. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Return to your post and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karth, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well, this is the price of your resistance. Ah! Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada?
Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Oh, oh. Ah! Listen, can you not hear him suffering? You can spare him further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah, ah, no! I beg you! Mercy! No! I am surprised he did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful by among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Carth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Endar, Sar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I, uh, I have to confess something. It was a, there was a moment, just a moment, where part of me was hoping that you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. Now, I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you had no other choice. You couldn't betray our cause. I, I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. Once you suffer like that, I, I might have cracked. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. Out of sight, out of mind. school than that. Huh, I'm surprised she doesn't have four storm. Um, I just want to move. Okay. Well, what 
ちもすごいな。うん、ありがとうございます。I suppose this is where my ship is. Maybe? I don't know where I'm going. Okay, first of all, what am I wearing? I'm wearing clothes on my arms, yes. I guess I'm just randomly freeing people and fighting them. Why am I fighting them? Oh well, I'm sure I'll find something, somebody that will appreciate being rescued. <laughs>
Oh yeah, that you mean that thing that I just laced off doors? <laughs> That didn't really work out very well. <laughs> I kind of did everything already. Oh well. Okay, that's the... Where was I seeing? Trade maintenance. Medical. Detention. Cover Well, I guess I'm going this way. Why I chose her. Okay. Plus, she just looks awesome.
Well done, Juhani. In freeing us from the cell, you have proven yourself truly worthy of the title of Jedi. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates to the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm going to find him on the Leviathan's bridge. That's true, Karth. You can come, but don't let your hatred of Sol Karath jeopardize our true mission. Getting the Evan Hawk safely off the Leviathan. You better come with me and Karth. The others can find their way on their own, but we might run into trouble. We'll need you and your powerful Force abilities to deal with it. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you, head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Evan Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Yes, I know. Get dressed. Clothes are good. <laughs> okay, so basically everything we ever was apparently carrying <laughs> in these lockers. <sighs> uh, it's funny. Okay, is, is that it? To equip myself now. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Yeah, precisely is my lightsaber. Lightsaber. And I'm back in charge, mohaha. Okay. Oops, there's nothing. And there's other rooms. Oh, let's get out of here.
Wait, that's where it came from. Ah! This is Canberus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Okay, so I gotta go to bridge. Where is it at? You heard of it? Somebody else to fight over there. Ah! Okay. Let's go this way first. How'd you like that? Okay. Over here? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Corridors. Oh, I'm trying to see what I might not have high enough power. <laughs> How'd you like that? Yep. That man just exploded in my face. <laughs> How'd you like that? Stop that. Seriously. Down you go. There. How'd you like that? Okay, seriously? Remember throwing those in the is really going on my nerves.
storage room airlock to fix the damage to the bridge's hull. I am wondering if that the right data pad. <laughs> Somebody has destroyed the raid, I'm just not sure who. Oh, there you go. What can I do? Okay, that one's apparently not doing anything. I'm here. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Uh, oh, there's a mine inside the How does that even work? Okay, I haven't been up there, I haven't been down here. That's easily fixable. Of course, I clicked on the wrong mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. This game sometimes. Oh well.
Okay. You shall fall. There. Oh, there's something to fight. Okay. Let's disable that one. Or not. Come on. Or fine, we'll fight you before we see mine's ray. Stupid jerks. I do like that. Oh. 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 Can you do something to this guy, please? What can I do? You asked for this! Thank you. I'm here. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Thank you, Basil. Okay. See if we can actually disable the mine. Or I can just trigger the mine. Because I'm really good at that. So I still haven't been there. Rich storage. It's interesting. It's rich storage. No, I don't want to go to the bridge. No, I'm not ready to go to the bridge. How do I get back to the not bridge? Come on, Dirk. Okay. Yes, I'm not done yet. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go! 
see that. Okay, that's where it was, right? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going back where I was before. So I guess bridge storage is like sneaking onto the bridge. <laughs> Maybe. they mean about the fixing the thingy outside of the ship. I, uh, I need to look into that further. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. So we're gonna save. Okay, I guess I don't want to quit myself with it. I just win it when I leave. Sure. Okay. Sweet. Now what? That's where I came from, I guess. So let's waddle. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's the funniest animation. I guess this is a sneaking onto the bridge? I don't know. <laughs> we shall find out. Be it. Hey, you twits, you were supposed to be stunned. Whoops, Karth is not. Uh, okay. She's got glue power. Why does Karth not actually have any carrying anything? Thank you. Let's try that again. Thunder <laughs> Kurth hasn't been doing anything. Okay, uh, one six, four nine. Sure. Okay. Ready. 
Sorry, Sorry Gurphy. You can get your weapons back. <laughs> How'd you like that? Okay, so why are you not stunned? Because you should be stunned. Thank you. Because apparently- oh, okay. I get it. Somehow, Bastila got her weapon back after getting out of the flight suit, but the rest of With us me. did not. Hey, it is not fair to you be saved for that. Okay, fine. You asked for this. I'll just stun you. <laughs> there. Okay, so please, what precisely? There's a door there, and there's a door there. I don't know what to do. Oh, a hallway. Oh, good. Okay, so. That's the bridge. What's the other one? Oh, okay. That answers that question. Alright, to the bridge! Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, so... Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. Oh boy. Okay. 
Um, let's. Shield apparently. Okay, I've got to get rid of all these six troopers first. How many are there? One, two, three, four, one. Ready? Yes. One of the people who's actually time to rumble. And best of all, oh. yeah. so be it. He's going to drain. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. oh. I feel like that. Oh. Oh. Oops. So now you are. Oh, yes. yes. Now that must have hurt. Let's go! Ah. 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 Yikes. He's still doing all right. I'm not sure if he's shooting at us. You shall go. his health. you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. Must tell you. Must tell you something. Come closer. 
Well, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Carl, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Carl. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Carl, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you. Vassila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Carl. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. Okay. <laughs> yes, I like that power. Okay, um, do I do something up here? We're gonna go run to the docking bay. Does anyone remember where that is? I went to the elevator. Where is the elevator? Keep on running down this hallway.
Okay, can we go around this way? Thank you. Okay. 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 Evidently, I need to heal my companions. of the guards. We're inside the Evan Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. I mean, I know I'm in a hurry, but, you know. <laughs> you shall fall. Let's make this. I'll just stun everybody and then best away and take them all out. <laughs> this is really efficient, actually. You can also try force storming the place. I'll try that in the next one.
You asked for this. Yes. <laughs> uh. Hey, look, it's my ship. Right. Darth Malak. Down you go! <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever. Could the Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashik. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them?
You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You mean, why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. The Jedi hold all life sacred, even that of a Sith Lord. I could not just let you die, Revan, not if it was possible to save you. Bastila hides the truth behind noble words, Revan. The Jedi needed the memories buried deep in your wounded mind. There was no other way to bring them out. They had to keep you alive. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there was some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition, Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be. Oh, oh boy. What to do? What to do? What to do? Oh! <laughs> 
Okay. I actually can't. I guess I have to run after him. This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! <laughs> the door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on. We have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! All right, well, that's we're getting anywhere there. I'm just walking in circles now. Yep. All right, then. Guess we'll go this way.
incoming fighters. We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Bah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Dark Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <coughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan, no matter how this plays out. What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Commentary. I am... Um... Experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. 
the affirmation. Correct, Master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. That does not matter, Master. I am your droid, regardless of your actions or personality. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. <laughs> <Good point>. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, the others seem to trust you, but I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that Starforge and save Basila. So let's do it before it's too late.